quaint village nestled deep within the woods, lived a couple named Jack and Emily. They were known throughout the village for their unwavering love for one another. But their peaceful life took a sinister turn one fateful night. It was an evening like any other when a dense fog crept in, blanketing the village in an eerie shroud. The wind howled through the trees, creating an unsettling symphony. Jack and Emily locked their doors, hoping to keep the chill at bay. As the clock struck midnight, a strange whispering sound filled the air. At first, it was soft, like the rustling of leaves. But it grew louder, echoing through their home. Emily clutched Jack's arm, her eyes wide with fear. What is that? She gasped. Jack tried to brush it off as the rain, but deep down, he knew it was something far more sinister. The whispering seemed to be coming from all around them, seeping through the walls as if the very air was conspiring against them. Unable to ignore the unnerving noise any longer, Jack decided to investigate. He grabbed a lantern and cautiously stepped outside. The fog was so thick that it felt like a suffocating embrace. The whispering grew louder, and the couple's home seemed to be surrounded by an invisible presence. Emily watched from the window as Jack ventured into the fog. The lantern's feeble light barely pierced through the mist. Minutes turned into an eternity as Emily's heart raced. Just as she was about to call out to him, a bone-chilling <laughs> scream pierced the night. It was Jack's scream. Terror gripped Emily as she rushed outside, the lantern slipping from her trembling hand. She stumbled through the fog, her voice cracking as she called out Jack's name. But all she could hear was the ceaseless whispering, growing louder with every step. Finally, she stumbled upon a clearing. The fog seemed to gather here, swirling like a vortex. And there, in the center, stood Jack. His eyes were wide and vacant, his body rigid as if trapped in a nightmarish trance. Emily rushed to him, shaking him desperately, but he didn't respond. As Emily frantically tried to break Jack free from whatever had ensnared him, the whispering grew even louder. It was no longer a mere sound. It was as if the very fabric of reality was unraveling. Emily's own thoughts seemed to meld with the whispers, and she felt herself losing grip on reality. Then, a voice cut through the chaos. A haunting, chilling voice that seemed to come from everywhere and nowhere at once. You cannot escape, it hissed. You are mine. Driven by fear and desperation, Emily pulled Jack towards the edge of the clearing, away from the vortex of fog. With every step, the whispering lost its grip on them. As they stumbled out of the clearing, the fog began to thin, and the whispering receded into a faint murmur. Days turned into weeks, and though the fog dissipated, the memory of that night haunted Jack and Emily. They left the village, seeking solace in a new town. But the whispering followed them, faint but ever-present, a constant reminder of the darkness they had faced. To this day, Jack and Emily still hear the whispers in the night. They hold each other close, seeking comfort in their love, for it's the only thing that keeps the chilling voices at bay. And as long as they're together, they face the darkness as one, determined to never let it consume them again. <laughs>